Hello YouTube, it has definitely been a while. Um, my boyfriend, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but he's a pilot and he has been working on becoming an instructor as a pilot and so he's had a lot of presentations to do, he's been taking his computer to work with him almost every day and it's been uh, really sucky for me because my computer is a MacBook Air and I don't know if you know anything about MacBook Airs but they suck and you can't really upload things with them because they tend to crap out after a while if they're doing something constantly anyways Speaking of my boyfriend, he has been uh, a very big fan of a show called Pawn Stars. That's Pawn, not Porn. I don't know if you've seen it, but um, it's a show about two guys who, or three guys who own a pawn shop, and what happens is, is that people bring in really interesting things to them, which is what usually ends up on the show. Things like old wooden peg leg, Rembrandt paintings, lots of really cool toys from back in the 50s when everything was made really, really well. And I really enjoy watching the show, and so as opposed to calling him a loser every time he watches it now, I've actually started watching it with him. And what I'm always thinking about is, if anyone back in the 50s actually knew that their little toy car that they bought their kid would be worth a couple of thousand dollars now, they may have treated the toy a lot better and probably wouldn't have been sitting in a dump somewhere piled 30 feet under the earth. So. What is it that we have today that really could be kept as like a keepsake for the future and something that'll be worth a lot more? And then I thought about it and it's almost nothing. Today, everything is mass produced. I mean, there's nothing that has any physical value at all really anymore. It's made of cheap metal, cheap pr plastic, and it's all very mass produced. And everything is also so cheap that if it gets broken, you just throw it out. I mean, I went to the store today and I bought an iron and a kettle and I still spent under $20 after tax. And I mean, this is Canada where everything is a lot more expensive than it is in the States. I couldn't keep this for 50 years. And if I did, I couldn't sell it for anything at all. It would be all rotten and melted and broken and probably just generally deteriorating so bad that there'd be no point. Not to mention the fact that there were probably a hundred million of these made. So really, who's gonna want one of them in 50 years? But hey, it heats up water really fast. If you want one, they're like eight dollars and they're at Walmart. As for the iron, yeah, I'm a really old lady, all right? I iron my stuff, yeah. I don't know if any of you have heard of David's Tea. Um, here in Canada, it's a tea shop that you find in like malls and things like that. And it is always rammed, no matter what time of day it is, because everybody freaking loves it there. And actually, a really weird thing happened yesterday, but that's completely besides the fact. Um, so, at David's Tea, they sell a whole bunch of different teas. Uh, basically, you walk in and it's just like rows and rows of jars. And they can bring them all down and you can look in them and smell them. And some of them smell freaking amazing. And all of their teas are mixes like this. This one is called Toasted Walnut. And um, it actually has like whole walnuts in it, which I don't know if you can see there. But yeah, all their teas are really weird mixes of things that smell and taste freaking fantastic. And I have never been a girl who buys expensive things, as we can tell. But I'm sorry, this tin of tea is worth $15. Every damn cup of it is amazing. Uh, yeah, so anyways, about that, I was in there yesterday and I got this tea, which is called Read My Lips, and it's actually a mint chocolate tea. Thurman, you make my tongue happy. But what's really weird is, dun, 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 it has little tiny bits of chocolate in it. That's like a tiny little Hershey kiss that's really small, and I'm really tempted to eat it now. And it also has little tiny candy hearts in it so that uh, you don't have to put any sugar in it because it's already sweet. Yeah, so that's uh, the interesting fact of the day. The weird thing that happened in David's Tea yesterday is um, when I was in high school, I went to I went to four different high schools actually, but one of the high schools that I went to, I remember there was this guy, um, let's call him Mike, uh, but basically Mike was the guy who had all of the parties in our high school, and that was basically the way that it is. He was the kind of guy you knew nothing about, other than the fact that he was really cool and fun, and he was on the football team, and that he could drink a lot, and he had crazy parties. So yesterday, I'm in David's Tea with a friend of mine, and I was carrying my purse on my shoulder, the really rude girl way, where you stick it out behind you, and I bumped into someone from behind, and so I turned around and I said, oh, I'm like, I'm really sorry, and he's like, yeah, yeah, that's okay. And then he's like, wait, uh, do I know you? And I was like, oh my gosh, this guy is totally the Mike guy from high school who's the weird football doofus who drinks a lot and has parties at his house. Okay. 
So I'm like, hey, yeah. Then my friend, who is one of those sophisticated, I drink really fancy tea types, was like, oh, don't you just love this place? And he starts to name off where the first store was located, that tea is one of the oldest trades, all the different caffeinations. Is that a word? Of the tea based on what color the label was and how much he loves the tea and how he's here and he's buying like four different flavors this time. And I was like, whoa, blow my mind, why don't you? You're the guy that drinks beer. That's what you drink. You have parties at your house. I don't want to picture you sitting there like sipping on your tea. Yeah, that, uh, that party at my house the other night was crazy, you know? Anyways, I'm going to go and I am going to upload a couple of other videos that I've had sitting on my computer uh, waiting for a good computer that I can upload them from today. Uh, so before I say any more, that's all. Actually, no, one more thing. My eyebrows. I don't know if any of you have discovered this, but I have this weird, like, I guess my eyebrows are really long or something. I don't know. Are people supposed to cut their eyebrows? Because if I brush my eyebrows one way, they look different than if I brush them the other way. And yeah, I got one of those um, little eyebrow makeup brushy guys. Oh, tiny hair thing. Should I do it like all fancy and like the makeup way? Yeah. So I got this crazy makeup brush. Here it is. That's a MAC number 516. Actually, it was like 30 cents, so it's probably a fucking nothing 516. Uh, it doesn't even say 516 on it. Yeah, so anyways, um, I got this like stupid little makeup brush thing and a set of makeup brushes that I got. And I was like playing around with my eyebrows and then I was like, damn, they look really different when I brush them up and when I brush them down. Does that happen to anyone? And am I supposed to like cut my eyebrows to get rid of that? And with that and the nasty burp that I just did, that is definitely all. Uh, yeah, so I will upload some more videos later on today. Oh yeah, and I changed my hair. It's okay if you want to comment that you hate it because I am so used to the hate comments by now judging by all the stuff under my Michelle fan video. Yeah, so there we go. I'll talk to you later, guys. Have a great day and go 516. Bye.